what's going on guys it's able here and in today's video i will be showing you guys how to get a custom theme on your nintendo 3ds for free to start off this video you'll need to have homebrew on your nintendo 3ds you will also need to have an m which you could download through the link in the description once you have an m you want to open it up once you open it up it will load up your themes and splashes as you can see, I already have some themes here. I got Bimo, Bob's Burgers, Kirby, all these. Now, I wanted to show you guys an example of how you could get these through QR scanning through the Nintendo 3DS. So, the first step would be clicking R, which will open up the scanning camera thingy. The first step would be clicking R which will launch up the camera for the QR scanning and as you can see this is my MacBook so you're gonna want to go to the website I linked in the description hold up guys I don't have it on here my bad technical difficulties um, but a noob I'm so sorry alright so I'm here on the website as you can see there's themes and other stuff so there's a lot of themes you could go on here and search whatever you want there isn't a whole lot but there is some good ones oh look here's the wally theme if i wanted to get that i would hover over it you could see this qr code put my nintendo right there and it would start downloading it. and downloading depends on how fast your wi-fi is now as you can see it's downloading um i will I'll, I'll wait for it to download until you guys can see the full process so it's, it's gonna be downloading sound if there's sound for the theme and icons and all that all right so let's look for it wally theme it's right here so as you can see we could preview it by clicking y Let's check if there's sound. Yes, there is. So as you can see, that's how the folder would look if you created one on the home screen. This is just what it, it would look like. It's a preview. It's pretty self-explanatory. You could do a normal install, a BGM only install, a shuffle install, an OBGM install. And you don't really have to worry about these. You're just going to want to go ahead and click up on d-pad to do a normal install and then you want to let go of a to install the theme so now to get out of here you want to click start and click the home the home button once you do that as you can see the wallpaper slash theme has changed to wally and you can hear the sound of course and put that down but if you guys have any questions feel free to comment down below and yeah if you guys like this video make sure to subscribe and like if you haven't already and also just in case you guys didn't know you guys won't be able to have an m on on the home screen like i do unless you guys have custom firmware but you will be able to launch uh, an m on it from the homebrew launcher which i have here you'll just have to open it up it's whatever app you use to set up homebrew so once you're on homebrew you'll just scroll down and look for it as you can see in a minute it's exactly the same loads up exactly the same it's nothing different i just wanted to let you guys know all right well i'll see you guys in the next one peace out